The new cabinet is dominated by new faces, and there are new ministries too, including a ministry for planning and international cooperation. I consider the political situation of the country. I selected a new council of ministers based on competence, and I believe that this team will be able to make us achieve Vision 2016. Sharmarke must now ask Parliament to approve his new list of candidates for cabinet. This is a second attempt by Prime Minister Omar Abdurashid Sharmarke to form an inclusive cabinet. He has now named a cabinet of 20 ministers. It's however not clear whether Parliament will agree to his selection. Sharmarke took over as Prime Minister last month after his predecessor fell out with the President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. He promised to form a cabinet that will deliver in key areas of security, health and education. But his first cabinet proposal was rejected by a section of MPs. This new council of ministers has no ties to the political infighting that dogged this country. We know government operations have been hampered over the past few months. In that regard, I have only selected a cabinet of 20, but I would name assistant and state ministers later. There has been wrangling within top circles of the government on the selection of the cabinet. And analysts fear more friction between the presidency and the prime minister could deter progress. Mohamed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.